Hey y'all, Jared Sandler here with you. Time for today's Rangers game memory. And this one uh, goes back to 1999. This falls in the category of game that's not necessarily significant in Rangers history, but is significant to me because I was there. And we all have those games, right? Uh, so my dad, as some of you know, uh, heavily entrenched in the soccer world, a longtime soccer coach, and he was coaching uh, in a tournament in Oklahoma uh, in late May. And, and I would go along, I'd tag along when I could just to hang out with my dad. I would sit on the bench. I was kind of like the team mascot and water boy and you know, all sorts of things that a, a little kid loves to do for you know these, I, I think the, the team, they're full of like 15 and 16 year olds. But when you're like seven, eight years old, those, those uh, 15 and 16 year olds are like amazing. And uh, I love being around them. And so we're driving home uh, from Oklahoma, uh, tournament's over, and uh, my dad gets a call from one of the dads of the players on the team uh, and was like, hey, you know, I got some Rangers tickets. We're going to be late, uh, but would you and Jared like to go? And, uh, you know, we were going to have to go straight to the ballpark after a long weekend of soccer in Oklahoma instead of going home. And uh, I was able to talk my dad into it. I don't, I don't necessarily recall if I had a really lobby or if uh, it was a, my dad was pretty agreeable, but we ended up going and we ended up showing up. Uh, if, if I remember, uh, we got in the stadium in the top of the third. I think we got to our seats at the bottom of the third. The Rangers uh, were down two to nothing against the Royals. And again, this is in 1999. The Rangers made the playoffs this year. They had a really good team. The Royals, not so much. Well, uh, the Rangers just couldn't get anything going offensively, and they ended up falling behind 3 nothing. And, and, and this is why I really remember this game. Uh, first of all, it, you know, it was cool to just, you know, on a whim, go to a Rangers game. We had good seats, and, uh, but why I really remember this game is the Rangers got down 3 to nothing, and, uh, and then Jeff Montgomery came into pitch. And, and I knew Jeff Montgomery as a, as a good, reliable closer. I you know, he wasn't really having a great year, though. And uh, the Rangers got a couple of men on, down 3 nothing, and Lee Stevens came up. And Lee Stevens hit one of the lowest, hardest home runs that I have. I, I really recall seeing him. I, I, my memory probably uh, uh, is fooling me a little bit because my memory is that the ball didn't even get more than a foot over the fence at any point and hit the top of the wall and skipped over. I do think that it actually hit the top of the wall, uh, but I'm sure it got more than a foot over the fence, but it was a low line drive, an absolute missile. Uh, and it hit off the, the portion of the wall right in the middle of where the Rangers bullpen is located in right center field. And it did pop up and there was this, you know, for, for depending on where you were sitting and, and what angle you had, there is this uh, uh, collection of moments of, of uncertainty. Is that ball hitting the wall and coming back? Or, did, you know, is it going to go over the fence? And then when it became clear, the place just erupted uh, because the Rangers had erased a three-run deficit to tie the game at three. And then in the bottom of the 10th inning, Tom Goodwin got on to begin the inning. When you get a guy with that speed getting on, uh, in the bottom of the 10th, just needing one run. Usually good things happen. Uh, the Rangers, uh, they had a sacrifice bunt. Uh, and then the Royals intentionally walked. This, this is what was interesting to me. They intentionally walked Rusty Greer to get to Juan Gonzalez. Now, they did it to set up the double play, but uh, I can't imagine too many people intentionally walk someone to get to Juan Gonzalez. Now, in fairness to Rusty, he was really good that year as well, but uh, Juan ended up getting a walk-off single. The Rangers won 4-3, uh, and it was just cool to be there. The Lee Stevens three-run home run is you know, one of those <laughs> insignificant moments in Rangers history, but one uh, that I remember and uh, one that uh, hopefully I'll, I'll never forget.